Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial just to let you know how to up the multiplayer and the party limit in Baldur's Gate 3. All the links are going to be in the description down below uh, and we're going to start off uh, right here. You just download this file. This is called uh, the uh, Party Limit Be Gone mod. You just go to files and manual download. Uh, now, unfortunately, you do need to have a Nexus Mods account, uh, but you can just make a free account and then you can download it uh, right here. So I'll do that right there. Uh, and it's pretty simple. Uh, it'll download right up here. Just look at where it is um, and then extract it. You're just gonna seven zip, extract to the folder name uh, and then you have that all right there. Uh, so I'm gonna toss this on the side of my screen uh, and then we're gonna open up Steam. Uh, so next step is getting to the Baldur's Gate folder. So we're gonna right click on Baldur's Gate over here, manage and then browse local files. This is gonna bring up this, minimize Steam so you can see your other folders. All right, and then you're gonna go into data and then you're just gonna drag the whole mods folder in. You're just gonna move it to data. Then you're gonna go back to the main file system, go into bin. And then this step is gonna depend on if you're launching it in Vulkan or in DirectX 11. Uh, if you're in Vulkan, drag this file over and you're gonna just release it on this bat file, the party limit be gone patcher dot bat. I launch it in DirectX 11. So I'm gonna do this uh, underscore DX 11 dot exe file instead of the uh, one that doesn't have anything at the end. So you just drag this over here. Uh, it might ask you to run it as an admin. If it doesn't, it works fine. Uh, what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a backup of what it was before. All it does is add dot backup to the end. So if you need to uninstall this, you just delete this and then rename this and remove the dot backup at the end. And then that should be all you need to get it working. Now, if you install this and you're having some issues with it, uh, right here is a link to another mod called uh, Full Release Mod Fixer. And it has some pretty simple instructions right here to install it. I didn't have any issues, so I haven't done this part but let me know in the comments if you guys had to do this uh if there were any weird things that you had to uh, jump through to make it work uh and i'll uh pin your comment if it is helpful subscribe if it helped you uh leave a comment if you couldn't get it working and uh, maybe someone else will be able to figure out your issue or maybe i will that's it thank you and uh, have a great day